Hello, I'm Ashley and I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Gretna Public Library and I am here to show you how to make altered dominoes. So I'll just take an ordinary domino like this and turn them into these. The supplies you'll need to make your altered dominoes are dominoes, rubbing alcohol, alcohol inks, the alcohol ink applicator tool and felt, paper towels, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, 24 by 8.5 millimeter glue on bale, 6 millimeter jump ring, 9 millimeter jump ring, charms, two pliers, and E6000 adhesive. To make altered dominoes using alcohol ink, you're going to need a domino or multiple dominoes. You're going to need an applicator tool and an applicator felt. This is what's going to be used um, for your alcohol inks. I have the Tim Holtz one. You're going to need rubbing alcohol. I have the 91%. And then you're also going to need alcohol inks. And you can buy these separately or you can buy these in a set. The one I'm having here is the Beach Deco set. And um, it's got the colors for the galaxy. So if you like those colors, this is a really good set to use. So I'm going to take my paper towel here. And I'm going to add some rubbing alcohol. So make sure you got some rubbing alcohol going on. And then you're going to take your domino and you're going to rub all the rubbing alcohol onto it. And you want to make sure it's got a lot on there just because you want to get rid of the impurities and the rubbing alcohol is also what's going to be used for your alcohol inks to go on. So now we got that going. I'm going to take my applicator tool and I'm going to start adding the alcohol inks. The nice thing with the alcohol inks too is you can do as many or as little colors as you like. And it doesn't matter where you put them onto the felt because everything that you're going to be doing is unique. So you won't have a domino that looks exactly the same. All right. So that's how it's going to look once you're done with it. And to put the alcohol ink onto your domino, you're going to press down. And as you can see, it's starting to spread out like a blossom because due to the alcohol ink. And if you want it to look more marbled, you're going to keep pressing down on it. And if you're not sure how you want it to look, you can let it wait for just a moment and it'll kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So like this one right here. You can see how it's starting to look kind of marbled and melded together. And you can also do the sides as well. So I'm going to take my applicator here and I'm going to start pressing the sides. And you want to make sure you're doing it, if you're going to do the sides, while you still have rubbing alcohol on it. Otherwise, it's not going to stick as well. And you also want to do it before the alcohol ink dries up onto the applicator and it's not going to stick either. So if you let it sit for just a moment, you'll be able to tell that the alcohol ink isn't going to stick to your hands anymore. Like that. Just a little bit of a touch. And then we're going to touch this side too. See, that side's good. So we're just going to slightly pick it up. And we're going to start adding to the sides. I'm gonna add to this side here. Like that. And you can also add it to the back too if you want. You don't have to, but you can. I do have an example where I've done that. This is the one I was doing earlier. And as you can see, you can do it on the back as well if you want to use this as a front or if you just want to look it all the way around. So once you tell that it's 
dry to the touch and not come off into your hands. Then we can go on to our next step, which is sealing it. And you can also add different charms to that as well before you do the sealing too. To add your charms to your altered domino, you're going to need the charms that you want, and then you're going to need E6000. It's the uh, industrial strength adhesive. I went with the jewelry and bead one just because it works better for the jewelry. So once you have an idea of where you want them to go, you're going to take your adhesive, and you can also use the precision tip for this, but I'm not going to. You'll start applying it to the back of your charm. You just kind of go around it here, like so. If you got any a little bit of strays, you can kind of move that. All right, now that I got it in place, just gonna set it. All right, so now that's been set, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other one. Just like that. All right, so once you have the back set up, then you'll just stick it into place. And with this E6000 that I have here, you're gonna to wanna to let set and cure for 24 hours. To seal your domino, you're going to use the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And this is going to seal it so you don't have to worry about any of the alcohol ink or anything else coming off. So it'll help protect it. And to apply it, you're going to tip it and then you're going to go back and forth on it. Like so. You're going to want to try to get it even as well. So as you seal it, you're just going to want to scooch everything over. Like so. If you have any air bubbles too, try to pop them before it starts to settle. Otherwise, you must keep them and move them to a different section if possible. Just depends on how you get your bubbles to go. Sometimes you can get them to pop and sometimes you can't. But once you get your side covered, it's gonna take three to four hours to let it harden. And then if you've done all the sides, then you're just gonna take an additional three to four hours. To apply a backing onto your altered domino, you're going to need your E6000 and you're going to need a glue on bale. This one is a 24 by 8.5 millimeter glue on bale. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of the adhesive here. Like so. 
And then you're going to want to find the center of your domino. So I'm gonna flip this over. And mine is right about here. So you wanna make sure that it's on in the center like that and then you're going to press down on it and then just double check to make sure and once it looks good for where you want it you're going to want this to set for 24 hours so that way the adhesive bonds to your domino to attach a charm to your altered domino you're going to need a charm a six millimeter jump ring, a nine millimeter jump ring, and your two pliers. These are jewelry pliers. This one is a round nose plier, and this is a needle nose plier. Having two of these works great when you're working with jump rings. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a six millimeter jump ring here. And as you can see, there is a little slit there. That's what's gonna open your jump ring. So I'm gonna go, here and then you want to start twisting them in the opposite direction and that will open your jump ring go ahead and slip this on and then to close the jump ring you just do the reverse of that so you'll take your pliers And then you'll start to move them towards each other. So it's a twist, and then you move them close. So it looks like that. And then you're going to take your 9mm jump ring and do the same exact thing. So you look for your slit. Take your pliers. You start to twist, and it opens it up. And now when you go to attach it to your glue on bail, you're going to want to slip it in here so you're still able to access your jump ring. And the same as before, just going to close it in on each other. Until they match like so and that is how you get your attachment charm onto your domino thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and as always happy crafting